Tame Your Anxiety, Rewiring Your Brain for Happiness with Loretta Bruning. Anxiety is natural. Calm is learned. Fear helped our ancestors survive in a dangerous world, so we've inherited a brain good at fear. Our threat chemicals can flow even when we're quite safe. Here are seven reasons why your threat chemicals have false alarms. When you understand your false alarms, you can shift your brain from anxiety to peace. False alarm number one. Anxiety was your first experience in life. We are born with our threat chemicals flowing. A newborn baby cries due to cortisol, the chemical that causes stress in adults. When a baby is hungry and cold, it can't do anything to meet its own needs. Cortisol surges and makes it cry. Crying works. It brings help that meets the baby's needs. In time, you'll learn to meet your own needs, but your cortisol surges when you feel like you can't do it. Number two, neurons connect when cortisol flows. You don't have to touch a hot stove twice because cortisol paves a pathway in your brain the first time. This pathway turns on bad feelings in advance when you see something similar to whatever hurt you before. Old cortisol pathways protect you from harm, but they can also trigger fear of things that are actually good for you, like studying, social overtures, or going to bed early. Number three, cortisol grabs your attention. Cortisol works by making you feel so bad that you can't think of anything but making it stop. Cortisol motivates a gazelle to run from predators when it would rather keep eating. Cortisol evolved to help you run from harm, which is why you have a full body sense of alarm when it turns off. Number four, cortisol tells you to look for threats. We are always scanning for potential threats because that's the job our brain is designed for. When a gazelle smells a lion, it needs to know which way to run. Cortisol tells the brain to gather information about potential threats. Cortisol stays in your system for about an hour, so you keep looking for bad stuff. The huge human brain can gather a huge stock of threat signals. The result can be more cortisol and more threat scanning. Number five, our brain learns from rewards. Our brain is designed to repeat anything that feels good. Sometimes anxiety feels good. This may sound strange, but you get social support or recognition when you're in distress sometimes. That triggers your happy chemicals, which wires you to repeat the behavior that got rewarded. So you get wired to be anxious without knowing why. Number six, disappointment triggers cortisol. Disappointment feels like a survival threat because it triggers cortisol. You don't consciously think that, but in nature, an animal starves when it fails to get food. Cortisol tells you to stop wasting energy on the one that got away. You know you won't literally starve, but cortisol makes each setback feel like a huge threat. Number seven, status frustrations trigger cortisol. You may insist that you don't care about status, but in the animal world, status seeking helps you spread your genes. We have inherited a brain that competes for status as a result. When you see a threat to your status, cortisol is released and it feels urgent despite your best intentions. In sum, anxiety is a pathway in your brain built from past cortisol. You can build new pathways to feel safe in the world as it is. A fun and fast way to do this is explained in my book, Tame Your Anxiety, Rewiring Your Brain for Happiness.